Cause that's what got me in the beginning because he was all like, uh, in the beginning he was like, oh, 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 I'm sorry for my, I'm sorry for your loss of snow. Even though in the first episode he was acting like a complete dick to her. That what got me, like, that what got me confused. Oh, still. The most shocking plot twist ever. I would never thought I would be crazy. I at least thought it was gonna do. I thought it was, I don't know. What the hell? I ain't know the cry, you know? Huh. Yeah, please do. Yeah, yep, yep, Crane? oh, yes. Ugh. God, you think you, Bigby, you have to tell him. I know. Obviously. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the crane. You forgot the phone, just the, bro. Ichabod Crane? How do you know? You forgot the phone Shit. line was cutting. Been... Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fun. Perverted little fucker might be after snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. But where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? What she took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Oh, she. Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Run, my boy, run! <laughs> nah, uh-uh, my girl in trouble. Wait! Are you going with me? What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her, but... I know. Yeah, 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 yes, no, yes. you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going. I ain't going. I ain't going. Uh huh. But it's like that. Ain't going. That is a crazy plot twist. How? Why? It like. No, I got some information. Any friends, but few fables. Nah, it's important. Come here. If you were here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and come here. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. What on earth do you think you're- I know, I know, but something's happened. Not right now. Camilla! No, you don't understand. Oh my god, I gotta fight you I'm now? I'm sorry, everyone. I don't- Get the fuck out of here. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. What Not after what he did. Look, Holly, not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? What? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait, that was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Thank you. It wasn't me. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me. Bigby gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being- Yes, I- Yes! This one isn't on I him. do! Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about- Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, yes uh, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, alright? 
Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. I think I'm gonna do you a little speech. I gotta talk I gotta talk to Snow for a week. This is important. Wait, her, her, her beer way important? Not really, because we don't know her. Tomorrow! This better be wildly important. It is. It's been hard enough making a connection with mm. these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open mm -hmm. Arms. Mm -hmm. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... Show her the photo! He replays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Show her the photo! Because, please, baby, yes! Show her the photo! Look at it! You took a cab here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. Fuck you it's out, just yeah. that Fuck something's you. come up. You know now, no, I you. get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Terrible. <laughs> Did you find anything? I found everything. No? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, uh, coming! Yeah, you found it all right. Jamal! Look, she's a prostitute. Jamal, okay, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Okay. Constable? Wait, 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 easy now. Man, what do you want from me, bro? The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? I tell you to run, but it won't do any good. Just make it more fun for me. What are you dreaming about? Killing you ain't ways. a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. No. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to your... Speak your mind. Fastly now. Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. You better shoot nobody! Wanting to do things the fun way. No! Please, gentlemen, invertebrates. Yeah, Please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? I Very she... sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Oh my god. Bigby, what is he talking about? I don't fucking know! Find that, it ain't any of your- What deal? Settle down, settle down now. They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. 
really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. Huh? Yes! Help me! What did I tell you? What did I Ali? I didn't do see! You motherfucker! Just come here uninvited! You think you can just fucking interrupt- Calm down, darling. It's just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Yeah, uh, listen to your lady. Yeah, I, I got this. Holly, let me handle this. I got this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh I'm gonna God. kill you! Oh, fuck it. Go ahead, do what you got to do. <laughs> I got it done. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, deal him, fuck him. Yeah, deal him. Ah, oh, damn. Damn, well, damn, what? Damn. <laughs> Is she dead? She's dead too? She dead? Is she dead? I mean, I don't care, but like, I think they did. No, I thought he got him. Just he had he had pinned down already. I was like, okay, I guess he's gonna do something. Keep in mind, I got nothing to do with this. I ain't do shit. <laughs> I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <laughs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Are you... okay? Yeah. I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. Pretty much. So you say. Yeah. It better be Crane. Answer that phone. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. Okay, no mind. The town is starting to find out. Mm. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? What happened to Holly had nothing to do with me. <laughs> I I didn't do shit. They came up to me. So, to recap. Yep. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. Hmm. That about cover it. And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan currently. <sighs> I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Uh, to be Everything honest... points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. Bro, you saw the picture. And he sent D and Dumb to slow me down. He's... He was a conniver. A, a 
coward, a liar, and I'll and always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. Of course. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. Any time. Yeah, I got you, Snow. Of course. Cool people. Can I, um, ask you a question? Depending what it is. It's kind of personal. Oh, she. And I don't want to offend you. Oh, no. But after tonight... Sure. What's up? It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, mm -hmm. it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. Okay. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I'm asking! I guess it doesn't matter. Damn. Well, fuck it. Uh, guys? We have a problem. Oh, what is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Crane yeah. must have taken a shard with him. Oh, yeah, he's smart. I can't believe this. This man is smart. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Mm. What, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? Yeah, we'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He oh. had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Boy, how to fly a monkey with that? What you got? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Mm. Witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Interesting. Um, you didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Hmm. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Of course. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? Yes. I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. I'll <laughs> just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Buffkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch. His glamour witch. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. Oh my god, it's gonna take all day. Oh, no, okay, never mind. <coughs> Interesting. A book.
There's a page here that was torn out. Damn! Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Nick, yes. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called me I called me to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Yes, oh, he is! Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. Brad, Snow, she said she... Snow, if this man... I have photo evidence. I show you the photo evidence. Literally. And in the fact he, he smashed the mirror, that literally proof right there he did it. And the fact they he said D and dumb to come after me, bro, it's crazy. Like, yes, he did it. Come on now, Snow. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first- Fixing the mirror was the most You're logical- You're secretary! He's the sheriff! And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but Who elected doesn't... her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. There's much bigger things to be worrying about right now, all right? Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. He's already made so stupid. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. Shut up. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is, and where they live, and get them all at once. Yeah, we and a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? True. It True. doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyway, so... No, chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just... Can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Fuck it. Fine, I don't care. Just go ahead. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. 
Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. How do you go with me, no? No, I don't man. know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Oh my god. alone and we leave you alone i'd love to join you but there's some business i need to attend to no no i'm better off dealing with things alone i don't need sympathy and i don't care uh... all Green's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Now explain to me why you want. Oh, this is perfect. Yay! Alright, yeah, I got some questions, motherfucker. Alright. I got some questions for you. <laughs> I got questions. Open the damn door. Snow said Crane lives in 1903. Oh, well, damn. Well, damn. Okay. <laughs> no, fuck that. Go in. It's open. Crane? Oh, an hour. Damn. Really? Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Yes, 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 yes. Crane. Look, the crooked man isn't happy composer. Much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. So if you can go ahead and pay him by Friday. I forgot. That he used to teach great. in the old days. All right. Everybody can stay upright. In the meantime, leave the light on, pal. See ya. Oh. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. Mm. What's going on here? Oh, wait. I need you, buddy. I broke. <laughs> my dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. There you go. Evidence. And a key! Hmm. Yeah, Jamal, yeah. See? Use your brain. Might be useful. Yes, sir. Hey, baby. Same brand we found in the open arms. Hmm. Yeah, why you want to check out Holly? Because it's her problem. Yeah, she doing her math, own. science, history. Blah blah blah. I had to guess. This shit didn't work. I don't really care about. Wait, no, it could be evidence. I don't know. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Okay, never mind. Okay.
money and a key. Okay, that's everything here. So. Well, I can't leave. So. There'll be something else. There'll be something on the table. Can I leave now? I mean, that's everything, so... No, I can't leave! Damn! Well... Ah... <gasps> Jack? Wow! It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. Explain yourself, now. Okay, 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 I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. Mm -hmm. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! No! No, 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 no! Get him! Okay! You got me. This is really fucking... Start talking, Jack. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I... Figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. Yes. Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? Don't let me punch you. I got bills to pay. Oh! Oh yeah, I forgot! Damn, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot. Damn. You know, this tortured, lonely pig-eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm trying to find Crane's witch. He's supposed to be heading there. Crane's witch? Is that why he took off? Who the fuck cares about any of that? I mean, don't you think, oh, I don't know, solving these murderers should be your top priority? I have reason to believe Crane might be the murderer. Give me a fucking break. Ichabod Crane? I mean, the guy's clenched tighter than a, you know, than a... Well, I'm having difficulty coming up with something appropriately tight right now, but you get what I'm... It doesn't I'm... matter if you believe it or not. I have evidence that places him at the scene of the crime, so I'm bringing him in. Okay, fine. You know what's best. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there, if I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. There you go. Go on. I'm listening. If you're looking for Crane's witch, well, I just happen to know who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. Just tell me, bro. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Alright, well, good. Fine. Right. You got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. <laughs> Her name is Auntie Green. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what kind of a deal he's made with her, but from what I hear, he's in pretty regular contact. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her. 
Exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Sign me a deal with you for nothing. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. Okay, don't get too cocky now. <laughs> <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Don't get punched, bro. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Give them to me. What? You know what. Hand them over. That it? Pick me? Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... <laughs> you What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? That's not important right now, but he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean... I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Mm, maybe? Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. I don't know. But I'll think of something. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Mm. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Ah. Holly or Dee? Uh... Don't go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. <laughs> oh, hi, Boo. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you heard, but I'm a third-degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. What brings you here? Who are you talking to just now? Yourself. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in... Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. I just finished cleaning. What did he take? I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Bingby. Was he telling the truth? 
He said you sent him, but I don't know, I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. But then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. He said he'd make sure I got fired. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, oh, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip track. Just, uh, just call snow and... Okay, I, I guess. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. This is one comic. This is one confusing ass episode so far. <laughs> I'm invested though, but damn. Damn! <laughs> hey! Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, you, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She she said so herself. I don't care. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Thank you. Grant. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here for two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's. <laughs> Whatever. Now, don't try to try some shit. I'll rip your arm off again. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Grand. Weinhardt said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate. And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? Mm -hmm. We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Ren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Right now, I couldn't give a shit what you think. No? No. Well, I can tell. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. Thank you. Car, we don't I want to clear we'll the ways, air. Man. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith, and after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. I'm running out of time, Grand.
Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I oh, said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> 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 They're gonna do me. They find out. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh wait, I forgot. It's great you're here, since you were the one who told us about it in the first place. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And none of it would have come out if Bigby hadn't have said nothing. Give me a break, like it's- Oh, I thought I forgot about this for two. She liked me, okay? There wasn't anything wrong with it. Oh, she liked him. All right, well, that changes everything. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh, yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Granny. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be paid right now. I don't. I just need Lily's shit so I can go. Gran. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Thanks for that. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Night night. Give me the hot shit. Just let her sleep. Okay. Um. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Okay, uh, the brooch. <laughs> I don't know why you fucking came here. I see. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Ah, sure you will, kid. 
When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He's just... he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Oh, I guess I'll take your word for it. Perfect! Hey! Okay. Damn it! If you were getting your glamour on this day... One of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Tingo. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Where are you? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. Yeah, she came it's here. on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Perfect. Yeah, I'm the good detective. <laughs> I'm the good detective. Big B. Yo. I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. Yeah, I know. Sorry. All right. How do you want to do this? Guns blazing. Let's go. Kick the door. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in. We don't know what's on the other side. Man. Let's just save the last resort for last. <sighs> Fine, okay. What would you have me do instead? I don't know. Knock? I mean, we have no idea what's behind this... Hello. Oh. Well, I'm glad I the door now. <laughs> you woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a Munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Smart ass. Sharp kid. <laughs> <laughs> Look, kid, I don't have time for games. You woke me up. It's okay. Do you have a name? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. I'm Big B. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? Oh, no, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? You're the nice one. Do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I've been here all night. No. Fresh disguise? What's up? Okay, for Snow. I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Look for anything on you. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. 
Fuck here. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. Oh. It's pretty rare to see a burner like... <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. That your mom? Uh huh. Obviously, be. I mean, I know it's obvious, but goddamn, I got to interact with everything. Thing. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? She's eight. She don't know where she's. Not is. here. There's no one here but me. Well, why? Are you got a smart ass mouth. <laughs> You're just no like. No one's me. been over all night. Yeah, he's yeah, just so. going to check. It'll only take a moment. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Mm -hmm. How much longer do you think it'll be? Okay, okay, Where yeah. do you buy your clothes? At a store? A butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the butcher. It's empty. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. Getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I'm try. Well, where's someone like me? Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just. Back exactly where you found it. No it's one all is... right, honey. Bigby's not no, going you don't to. Don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I let people in here and let them touch her. She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. I'm not gonna break it. I just want to open it. No, put it down. Please don't. This isn't what you think. You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here. I. It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. for you or it usually works anyway most people aren't sick enough to strong arm a kid all right start explaining and from the beginning none of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet now tell me where I ain't train a fortune teller wolf I have no heavenly idea where he went you have to know something unless you want a recipe for owl stew you're an accomplice to murder do you realize that you might want to check your facts on that. Hmm? Huh? It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? No! Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. Hey, crazy this now? witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly 
don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shit. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without oh, them, give me that. You're making money off of other people's mid two fables are dead because of it. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whole, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's... I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please. Greenleaf Snow's right. The tree has to go. No! Look, look! I'll tell you, I'll tell you! Green was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. Mm. It won't, though. The damn thing lost its power decades ago. Just please, you can catch him if you leave, okay? Just leave, and don't... Don't burn my tree. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Don't destroy it, please. Okay. That wasn't so hard, was it? That's it? She's off the hook? Come on. We have to get to Crane while he's still... Look, Snow, we die, we die, we die. Okay, look, Snow. Look, we'll deal with her later. We worry about Crane right now, so... Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. It's not that you need to concern yourself with. I don't think. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of our place. Oh, I see. Come to oh, Fucking. Why you oh, Why? I don't. <laughs> I didn't do anything! Mm -hmm. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just, just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all, please. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. Ah. Wait, I can't. You have to just give me the chance. This will work, I assure you. Everything will be solved. Like, like did you? Damn you! Come on, please. Tell yeah, me you embarrass yourself. Her. Please stop. Please stop. Lips are sealed. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. There, see? But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God. We found the photos of you and Lily. 
I know, I know. That's that was. I just. No farewell. I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Hmm. Well, go to you. <laughs> go to you. Bigby? Hmm? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. Not to put his stamp on the world like that. Snow, of course he's guilty. If you'd seen the room... I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown. Of using our money for his own... ambitions. Mm -hmm. well, that's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. And maybe he is. There's nobody else that's even remotely... He's the prime suspect. There is nobody else. But why? Really? Think about it. Hey, a bird! A prostitute to look like you. He played out his sick fucking fantasies over and over. We can't condemn people to death for just being gross. Snow, and I... And no evidence that says anything except he was in the same room at some point in time. He embezzled millions from Fabletown, Bigby. That's what I have to care about. And that's enough. I was going to pay all of that back. Snow, why are you defending yeah, why are you defending I'm you? not. I'm defending the order of things, Sheriff. You can hate him. I do. But I want him brought in for what he did to this town, and not killed by you for personal preference. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. And for suspicion of murder. No, Sheriff. This can't be Greenleaf again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader, starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the... I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are. We're walking. Saying, I see. Wait. Hi. 
what you got there. The suspect? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? Damn. I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Damn. What do you want? That sack of flour. Crane, dear. It's Crane. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fable Town business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Oh, fuck it? What's that? Wait. No! You must forgot I'm a werewolf. <laughs> so that, 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 ain't gonna, that ain't gonna affect me, bro. Bigby? Come on, big. There you go. Get up. Get up, my boy. Get up, my boy. Get up, my boy. Come on. That's all you got? <sighs> Come on, here. Shoot, try to shoot me again. Come on. No, no, not so bullet. No, it was a good show, but you know, I just didn't know when to end. Hold on. Thanks, Silver Bullet. 
this would work but, anything but, but a pure. Mary! But Mary! Hold on. Oh. It's just ridiculous. Mary, let's talk about this. Right, Wolfie? Mary! Let's talk about this, man. Please, come on. Mary! Let's talk about this. But really, guys. <laughs> can you argue with Bro, these results? I'm just fucking expert. Because I know I can't. Mary! Let's talk about this. Come on. Mary! Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow. Don't do this. It is blue beer, I swear to God. It's your lucky day, kid. Crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach? Just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Emerald alert, really? I don't care. <laughs> nope. Not like your boyfriend. <laughs> well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. Jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new, long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>